try to figure this stuff out and learn about the whole how much of a testosterone nanograms per deciliter are you supposed to have estrogen dht ssbg prolactin if you understand more about these things you will be able to understand more your own situation <laughs> No, we beat yourself up. Now, this real topic will be about do you want more testosterone? Now, let's get into it. But before that, if you want, you can go check yourselfup.com. I'm in blog posts on a weekly basis. If you guys want more, I'll be popping out more. We've got net workouts, we've got creams, dating advice, and pretty much topics I cover on this video. But if you want quick information, Hop on on it, link in the bio. Now, let's get into the video. The male hormone, testosterone, okay? We all have it, men have it, women have it. Old farts have it. Old wrinkly ass ladies have it. Just women have it in very, very low amounts. Of course, logically. And guys, on the other hand, we have a lot more what does testosterone do? Okay, it's basically the thing that people think about the most when they're thinking about masculinity. Okay, because testosterone helps you with making muscles, okay, focus, energy, drive, aggressiveness, masculine sexual polarity with, fem with uh, women. When men don't have enough testosterone, it's like they've been castrated. What happens when a man cannot produce enough testosterone? Uh, his life basically crumbles. Can't focus, can't sleep, can't build muscle. His mood is all over the place. Very active, very emotional, depressed, has no energy, gets hurt easily, physically, cannot heal properly, lacks the drive, lacks ambition. It's also very, very important Okay, for everyone, even women. Too much in a woman can cause problems, can make her hypersexual, not enough can make her non-sexual. Same thing inside men, not enough can make it to where he cannot get it up. Too much can increase hormone imbalances. But you press this video because you want more testosterone. Okay, here are questions that you need to answer and be honest with yourself. Because if you're not honest with yourself in these questions, you cannot move to the next stage. Of your journey to acquiring more testosterone. Question number one. Have you covered all the other stuff you have to cover? For example, is your sleep in order? Is your diet in order? Do you work out? Do you get enough sunlight or do you take a supplement? Vitamin D. See, you need to go and get these certain boxes checked out. Sleep. Working out, getting enough sunlight, vitamin D, having a proper uh, diet, nutrition going around, getting enough sleep, I rest of that. You need to cover the basics. Otherwise, you have no business thinking about getting more testosterone if you can't even cover the basic building blocks. Because the reason for this is even if you find a way to increase testosterone through some magic supplement or injections, or anything of the sorts. It's not going to mean a damn thing if you can't even get the basics of your life set up straight. You need to be able to work out, get enough sunlight, sleep, eat properly, feel better of yourself. Okay, get these basic things done first, damn it. Then, see what you're dealing with. Go get a blood test. Yeah, go and take your time. All your resources, which I'm talking about money here, and go and get a blood test for your testosterone total, free SSBG, estradiol, DHT, prolactin, all of it. See what you're dealing with. Because a lot of guys want to go and get testosterone, and you don't even know that they actually produce enough themselves. They just believe they don't, and or they have such shitty fucking 
lifestyles. Like, dude, do you, do you really think that by injecting something up your ass to increase its testosterone is going to help your fucking life and your body and mentality if you sleep like three to four hours? You don't get any sunlight. You don't take any supplements to help with the deficiencies. You don't eat properly. You don't work out. You jack off 24 fucking 7. And you expect to have a good fucking level of this hormone, this male hormone. You're a human. You're basically a computer and you're fucking up your damn Wi-Fi connection, your CPU, and your ventilator. CPU. Basically your sleep, your ventilator, basically your nutrition. Don't fuck up your mechanics. Now I'm getting this whole idea, this concept here of the computer, because I'm reading this book called Psycho-Cybernetics. Talking about how the brain and a human being and the subconscious is a bunch of automatic responses. Machineries, like you don't think about making your entire arm muscle twitch fibers move to grab something, you don't, you just do it. You don't go and grab a bunch of fucking things, outside sources, to try and increase your testosterone if you can't even get the basic internal things done properly. When you do get those things done properly, and then you get a blood test, now you can see what you're dealing with. So, let's, let's look. What's your total test level like? What's your estradiol level like? Estradiol, estrogen. Most importantly, what's your free testosterone like? You need to know this because you could have a lot of total testosterone, but if your free testosterone, which is your free testosterone leaving inside your body, if you don't have that much, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna be able to feel it. It's not gonna do much. If your estrogen is too damn low or too damn high, your, your testosterone might be fine, dude. It might be complete, fine, perfect, perfect. But if your estrogen is crap, too high or too low, it could be the result of why you're feeling such a way. And by taking supplements to increase your testosterone or injections up the ass, not literally, of course, you might be screwing yourself up even more. Which is why getting a hormone specialist to do the blood test for you is very important. And here where I live, in Quebec, it's not that easy. So take advantage of it. Though I found a trick. In Quebec and I'll be posting a video on that later today so do you want more to sell room if so get your basic stuff in order before you go around thinking that you should go and be getting external stuff get the basic stuff handled then after if you still feel shit away a shitty way get your blood test done so you actually see the numbers in front of you and if things are not good yet, then you can go and bitch and whine and complain to the hormone specialist for them trying to help you. But also, try to figure this stuff out and learn about the whole, how much of a testosterone nanograms per deciliter are you supposed to have? Estrogen, DHT, SSBG, prolactin. If you understand more about these things, you will be able to understand more your own situation. Because everyone needs a little, everyone needs a little different. Uh, protocol to help themselves It's not one pro uh, one solution fits all type of thing So get your shit in order Afterwards see what you're dealing with. I Know the sauce when it's it's hella important. We all want to increase that sauce. Okay. We all want more of that masculine sauce But get your life get those basic things straight now, man It costs a lot of money to get that sauce If you don't need it you're set. You're lucky. If you want to increase it, I totally understand. I respect that. But get your basic shit in order first. Alright? Basic shit in order, then afterwards see what you have to do. Cool? Cool. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You can follow me on IG and all that other stuff. So, take care. Do yourself out.